Every day, thousands of people hit the road heading towards their dreams. But sometimes those dreams collide with a harsh reality. Auto accidents with 18 wheelers can change lives in an instant. That's why you need the experience and expertise of St. Martin and Bork. With over 50 years of experience, St. Martin and Bork have fought for justice for the victims of truck accidents. If you've been in a wreck with an 18 wheeler, know your rights. Call St. Martin and Bork today to schedule your free consultation. Everybody, welcome back to Body Time. Harry McCullough here. We're going to spend a couple of segments talking about one of the jewels of Terrebonne Parish for sure and the Tri Parish area, and that's uh, Fletcher Technical Community College. It's it's such an advantage to our area. And here to talk about a bunch of upcoming events is Ethan Gidry. So, Ethan, thanks so much Hi. for being with us, man. Uh, look, we do our part. We're, we're trying to make sure everybody knows about it, but I think. This is a great way for anybody to kind of change their life is to go to Fletcher, get a degree and move on. We were just talking about the linemen, yes. uh, you know, before we start talking about these events. But the electrical linemen, the guys that go in linemen, you guys yeah. have a program for that. Yes. Yeah. What's the percentage of guys that get jobs when they come out of your program? Oh, 100%. Um, <laughs> you know, we actually, a lot of times we uh, we have like a hiring event beforehand and they'll, before they right. even graduated officially from the program, they've got jobs and they're 100%. ready to go. 100%. Yeah, get jobs when they come out of this program. So that's a couple of years. I think it's not easy. It's like no. 18 months or 16 yeah. months. Yeah, it's very short. You can change your life because, mm -hmm. look, we were just talking about, you know, we had power outages in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, Florida to North Carolina, now back to Florida. Yeah. Those guys could be working and making money. And yeah. I think they started like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think they started like yeah. 80 grand. So you can yeah. imagine what they're making on top of it. Oh, yeah. Covering events like this. Yeah, it's, so, it's absolutely high. And if you need more statistics, I'll get the uh, career <laughs> specialist to come over here next time. And she can tell you all about it. We've got all the data around that. But yeah, I mean, completely life changing program and, um, you know, short amount of time. And that's really what all of our programs it's, are about. Yeah, you know, short yeah. training periods, trying to get people out the door so that way they can go there yeah. and um, change their lives. A really. year and a half, mm -hmm. right? And then, yeah. then you're, you know, not everybody can do that job, but yeah, yeah you're probably making over six figures. Yeah. A year and a half later where you're going, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Yeah. You could do it that quick. So yeah. let's talk about some of the upcoming events and and some of these are, are going to be career day stuff. Mm, yeah. Some of us just, hey, let's have a little fun, right? Yeah, absolutely. So it starts on the uh, on Friday. Yes. That's Friday with the, the Trunk or Treat. Right? Yeah, we're really excited. Um, this is actually our second time doing the Trunk or Treat. Um, and last year we had about 500 people in attendance. Um, so we're super excited about that. It's Friday, October 18th from 4 to 7. Um, it is open to the public. The only thing we're asking is um, if you can to bring a non-perishable food item. Um, and that's to support our students who might be facing and food insecurity. Um, so just a little support there, but um, there's going to be plenty of carnival games, uh, food trucks, bounce houses, uh, petting zoo, face painting, um, trick-or-treating at the at the Price car trunks. Yeah, so <laughs> all kinds of things. Yeah, so uh, that, that's a good way and a good way to reach out to the community because mm -hmm. like we said, I mean, you know, people think in college, like I can't afford to go to LSU or Tulane yeah. or even Nichols, you know. But yeah, this is a great way, mm -hmm. you know, especially as as the world kind of evolves to mm -hmm. have a, a technical trade, a lot of times yeah. it is the way to go for yeah. a lot of folks. Absolutely. So on the November 6th, the day after the election, so that would be a Wednesday, yes. November 6th, uh, all majors career fair. Tell me about that. Yes. Um, so we have about, I think, over 60 um, employers currently signed up, um, lo you know, around the area. Um coming to try to get our students jobs. So they're gonna have tables out there. We ask students to come um, dress appropriately, uh, bring a resume, um, and just come ready to network with those employers um, and try to put your name out there. Hopefully, you know, if you don't leave that day with a job, at least you've got that um, person mm -hmm. that's now been introduced to you, they recognize you, and hopefully uh, when you do graduate, you can secure that job. And look, uh, you know, just having two kids that have gone through this, uh, you know, they go, well, just apply online, right? <laughs> Every, yeah. You walk in any any job, you go, hey, y'all, mm -hmm. hey, do it all online. Yeah. What a thousand other million other people are doing yeah. too. So you never hear from anybody. You've applied Correct. for 20 jobs. They send you an email, mm -hmm. you, you, nothing. This yeah. way, 
you meet a person, you might change a card with them. Yeah. And it's a great way to get a personal connection. Yeah, absolutely. And even for the students, it gives them that personal touch because you may think, oh, this job sounds great. But then maybe, you, you know, you meet somebody there. Maybe right. you learn more about the business and you're like, oh, this really isn't for me. So it's good on both sides. It gives oh, them a right. chance to interact and find out what you're really about. Oh, you're right. Because there's a lot of those jobs. It's like, hey, come with us. We'll mm -hmm. do this for you. And, and then <laughs> the next thing you know, you move to another town and you go, Oh my God, did I make a horrible yeah. mistake? Yeah, know? yeah. And just good practice, you know, <laughs> networking with people, getting to um, put yourself out there. And make eye contact. Yeah. Hands, yeah. Right? Stuff that's kind of hard after COVID, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All of those are good. So uh, we, we got a little more time to, in this segment. So the Veterans Day ceremony yes. too. So th that's always big, right? Yes. Um, always big. We had that's about 100. 8, by the way. Yeah. Almost 200 people last year. Um, we're inviting, it's open to the public. Um, we ask our veterans to come out and it's just a ceremony for us to recognize um, their sacrifice, their service, um, and just really thank them for all that they've done for us. Uh, we normally have, um, you know, very good speakers. We have uh, Colonel, I'm probably going to say his name wrong, uh, McGinley, I think. Um, he's the new secretary for the Department of Veterans in Louisiana. So he'll be there giving a speech. Um, and then afterwards, we typically do uh, a lunch for anybody who's in attendance. Right. Now, I don't know if they're recruiting, but that's always a good option yeah. for career as well. You yeah. Know? yeah. But but these are all good things that you guys are bringing people together. So obviously, the major, the career fair is what everybody needs. Yeah. But the trick, the trunk or treat and Veterans Day is just a way to get people on your campus, right? Yeah, and absolutely. I think a lot of people don't know about that, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe, you know, I've I, I passed there a million times. I've never actually walked on campus. Yeah. This is a good way for ways to do that. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, you would never imagine. I mean, I never thought we'd have that many people. So to have them just going in and out, because some of it's inside, some of it's outside. So they get to see our beautiful campus outside. But also, you know, we've got these great new buildings that we've just opened up our nursing buildings brand new so they'll be able to kind of go through those spaces and see what all we offer there um, because it is a trade school um, but we definitely have our academic programs as, as well we've got state-of-the-art technology and things like that so um, I think people are often surprised when they come on our campus. The nursing facility is new on yes. campus? Yeah it just opened in August yep this is our first semester using it. Because y'all have had other spots right it off campus it uh so it was at our um Shreve campus but it was kind of just scattered right. you know throughout different classes now we have a whole um nursing allied health and workforce building so we've got a uh, designated space for that and we, it looks just like a hospital yeah, and we, we know there's a few job openings in that oh, yeah. as well sure. uh, we'll take a break um or we'll talk more about fletcher community technical college uh, when we come back right here on bite <music> Today's social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. Everybody, welcome back to Body Time. Harry McCullough here. Ethan Gidry is the Director of Student Affairs at Fletcher Technical Community College. We were just talking uh, off air a little bit about the, one of the beauties of what this is, is that the community tells you, hey, we need people to do this. You guys go, hey, we can make a program and get those people mm -hmm. trained and, and there. What, what's some of the hotter things now that's happening up yeah um we just started a cardiovascular sonography program um so we get cis maybe yeah to do cis with yeah i'm sure or <laughs> terrible in general one of the two um always working closely with those people in the medical field but um ultrasound of the heart that's what that is uh, you know um breaking it down but that program uh has been wildly popular in other areas of the state and so we're bringing it here because there's definitely a need for it um another one is our uh commercial vehicle operations big truck driving um we actually just started a night class um, and expanded those offerings because we had so much demand there so definitely lots of things yeah. coming and then uh, you know other things that we're probably not gonna say on air sure. but it's coming in the works you know right. other popular programs but yeah working very closely with those industry partners just to try to meet those workforce uh, yeah, demands. yeah i mean that's just so smart right mm -hmm. i mean as opposed to what some of our universities have done. Yeah. You know, people come out with a degree that's like they can't find a job. Mm -hmm. it's to find the jobs first and then make a degree fit yeah. it. 
seems to be kind of smart. Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> I'm telling you, you would not imagine the amount of times, like, a student's not even done the program, and they've already, they're Got like, as soon from- as you're done, here's your contract. Like, you're good to go. So, yeah. Yeah, and then probably you're working with partners, right, too. Yeah. So they get hand, almost internships while they're going yeah. through. Yeah, especially in the hospital setting. We're constantly rotating through their facilities for clinicals and things like that. So they've already been exposed to the workplace before they're even signing on to those um, companies. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. cool. So another cool thing, uh, and again, probably it's a fundraiser, but it's also a way to kind of meet people and, mm-hmm. and do that, is the Fletcher Golf Class. Yes. Yep, so this is November 18th. This is a uh, all-day thing. We're starting a little earlier this year, um, but... It's going to be at Ellendale Country Club, um, and this is exactly what it sounds like, just a fun day of um, golf. Uh, we invite our local businesses and uh, anybody who's really interested to play. You can either come individually, you can join as a team, um, and uh, all the proceeds for that go to scholarships for our students. Yeah, so again, that'll be on November 18th mm-hmm. out at Ellendale. So many other things that are coming on. you got a symposium. So what's a bioregion symposium? Yes, um, so a lot of... Um, careers, uh, usually like attorneys and engineers is what this one's referencing. They have certain licensures that they keep and they have to um, get continuing education credits to be able to keep that licensure. Um, And so that's what this is. Um, They're putting on, um, they're continuing some education in there and we just invite any attorneys or engineers out. Um, If you need some of those credits, that's going to be Wednesday, December 11th from 8 a.m. to 4.30 um, and we'll get you those uh, credits that you need to keep that license. Yeah, all day, and there's lunch in- involved mm-hmm. and those kind of things. Yes. So uh, how do you reach out to those people? You just let them know that it's happening, and it's like, oh, wait, I didn't know I could do this. Right? Yeah, yeah, lots of networking. Um, I mean, our um, chancellor for our institution advancement, she's super great, Miss Monique Crochet. I'm sure a lot mm-hmm. of people are familiar with her, but um, just keeping those um, lines of communication opens with our business partners, um, a lot of mailers, you know, sending things out, sending emails, graphics, all those good things, um, and just spreading the word, just like we're doing here today. <laughs> right. So Christine Strickland is, is your is your chancellor, yes. right? Yes, yes. So how can I go to breakfast with her? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to love that one, really. Um, yeah. Well, if you sign up um, for our Chances Breakfast, this is another opportunity to support our students. Um, all the proceeds from that um, go to scholarships for students. Um, that one is December. You have 12th. 12th. Thank yeah. you. That'll be December. That's <laughs> remember the day the date after for that the symposium. One. Yes, right? day after the symposium. December 12th, um, Chances Breakfast. She is just, if you've ever been in a room with her, Phenomenal speaker, phenomenal entertainer, um, and she gives gets up there, um, gives a state of the union, kind of lets people know what Fletcher is about. Um, she tells some really great student stories and just really gets you involved in our mission and what we're trying to do here at Fletcher. Um, and also just have some fun, enjoy some food, and just get to know us as a community as a community college. And maybe this is a question for her. Yeah, you know, where is community college headed? You know, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Every administration administration that comes in, mm-hmm. we go to community college, we come back, we, we yeah. do other things. Oh, it's got to yeah. be higher ed and it's got to mm-hmm. be tougher to get in, yeah. whatever. Where are we at with community college? No, so, you know, in mentioning how hard it is, to, you know, to get in sometimes, I, community colleges is heading towards breaking down barriers, really opening up those doors, trying to make it accessible for all of our uh And and affordable. And affordable, right, exactly. Um, You know, and trying to also meet the demands of the workforce, so that means shorter training periods, um, trying to get people in the door, get them out the door, so that way they can go get a job and just improve their lives in general. But you also, you know, if I wanted to just take a bus or Mm -hmm. just get out to the campus of Shriver or Homo or Thibodeau's campuses there too, I could take classes that will also go to those other schools where you can defray the cost a little bit. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we have some very nice transfer agreements um, with, of course, Nichols and other uh, colleges throughout the state. Um, Really anywhere you go as you come in, what we call general studies, you kind of get whatever classes you might need, and then you can transfer um, to whatever other school you might want to finish that Again, you know, when people use class warfare, it's like, well, I couldn't go to college. No, yeah. There's really not no. an excuse anymore, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Because there's, you know, you, you do have options. You got scholarships, mm-hmm. Pell Grants, yeah. those kind of things that can help you 
get into college and do it affordably. You yes. don't have to go to the Ivy League. Yes. The funding, yeah, year, the you know? funding is out there. And right. I actually started in enrollment. Um, so dealing with admissions and financial aid and people just don't realize the dollars that are just sitting there waiting to be used. Um, and I mean, that's, you know, what we're doing these events for. We've got tons of scholarships for students and we've actually um, condensed those applications. So it's really a streamlined process. You put your name in, we put you in there and try to get, um, connect you with that scholarship. Right. So. so yeah, try to make one of these events Go out there, get in touch with guys like Ethan. Then you can kind of figure out if if going to college is for you yeah. or getting the jobs for you. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> because there are all options that are out there for you. So, Ethan, man, thanks so much. Yes, uh, thank you. It's going to be a busy it. couple of months for yeah, you. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back with more Body Time right after this. Today's social media segment is brought to you by South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer, attorneys at law. Terrebonne Ford, built Ford Tough. 